Bootsy was right. I knew I had to get the fuck up out of Michigan. For one, I had to get away from my crazy ass, no money having, no money making family members. That was the first thing. And that was a battle within itself because it was just way too much bullshit. I didn't get along with my father at all because he was an asshole. My mother, I didn't get along with her because she was an asshole. Uh, My oldest brother, it was just an age difference. He was chasing women and I got that because I'm grown. So it wasn't really nothing personal. He was a grown man and I was a fucking kid. Uh, my second oldest piece of shit third oldest um a age difference was chasing women but I thought he was gonna turn out to be somebody and I was wrong um my stepfather may he rest in peace he anytime he was there he always led by a good example he he taught us a lot you know but when he was gone he was gone I understood that part. Uh, my father, piece of shit. So, I had to wait for a long time to get the fuck away from Michigan. And I'm finally away from it. And it's a beautiful thing, which I knew it would be. But, um, like Master P, I got that. I remember he used to talk about it in his interviews here and there that he was having issues um, like that. Um, Baby Will, some cash money, same thing. Uh, Little Wayne, you know, it's like you have to get away. At least for me, I had to leave because of the fact it was just crazy. You know, people and then like family or uh, friends of the family, they was talking a bunch of bullshit. And uh, let me see who else. Then friends I fucking knew, you know, get caught up in this, you know, never forget where you came from bullshit. Uh, stay true to the hood. I'm like, fuck the hood. I don't give a fuck about the hood. And You know, as far as people getting shot and killed, that was fucked up. You know what I mean? That was sad. That was hurtful. That bothered me. But it wasn't nothing I could do about it. I mean, what I'm going to do? Stop people from shooting? You know, I I wish I could, but let's be realistic. So, all this time, I'm just like, all right, well, when I get grown, I'm getting the fuck out of Michigan. Fuck Michigan. And um, because he was right. A lot of times it'd be people you grew up with that hate you the most. And I, I experienced that a lot just in general because uh, people would call yourself trying to pick out my future for me. I'm like, motherfucker, you got it all wrong. You know, it's my way or no motherfucking way. And I was like, okay, just go on, be quiet, work in silence, get the money together and make sure that you move out of uh, Michigan and don't come back. And... Uh, and, and, and fuck what everybody else think because they on some bullshit. A lot of times, like he said, they uh, hypnotized by hatred. And <laughs> I never heard it put like that before, but I definitely can agree with it because, um, like I said, I already had the problem with my older brothers because they was watching Leave it to Beaver and the Brady Bunch and all that bullshit the wrong motherfucking way thinking well I'm the oldest and you gotta listen to me and I'm looking at my oldest brother like okay you're a felon you had a lot of money twice you fucked all that over you never got it back you constantly kept going back and forth to prison for the same charges my second was I knew he was a loser cause it was just you know you could like see it you know my second oldest uh, he, he like I said, he, anything he would start, motherfucker never finish it. And then he would just do dumb shit. And I was like, okay, he's a fucking loser. Um, and uh, see, my third oldest, like I said, he could have been something. He started out on the wrong track. I think he was listening to my stupid ass father too fucking much. And I'm saying that to say this. Um, I knew that I was going to have to make a lot of decisions to bring about an immediate change. I was like, well, first, number one, get the fuck out of Michigan. Fuck Michigan. Because, you know, a lot of my siblings, they move out of Michigan only to come back and they all live in Michigan. I'm like, well, do you want to do some shit like that? You know, they got this weird, twisted way of being loyal and it ain't a legacy. It's an insult. I'm like, fuck Michigan. There's nothing is there. Nothing is coming there. And then, like I said, I hate to say it, my family, they're a bunch of fucking losers, all of them, as far as I'm concerned, because 
Um, they don't get me wrong. There's some people that really like their motherfucking ass. I ain't fucking one of them, you know, because it's a thing. And this is all coming back to what Boosie said about them being hypnotized by hatred. Meaning that because I'm the youngest, I'm supposed to automatically listen in because they're the oldest. And I'm like, that's a bunch of bullshit. You all are a bunch of losers. You're a fucking felon. The second oldest, you're a fucking felon. The third oldest, he's a fucking loser, alcoholic, drug addict. And how I know that the shit really went bad and went for broke and went for worse when his wife left him. I said, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. And now that I got a chance to step back and analyze the shit, she was the one that was running the show all along. She just got tired. And I was like, I never saw myself staying in Michigan for the rest of my life. Like I said, I'm 50 years old. 50 years to me is young. It's not old, you know, because uh, I read one time in, uh, I think it was Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, where a lot of ones that became rich and successful didn't start to get into that until they late 40s and that's about right around the time I started understanding what to do what not to do and how to do it as far as business is concerned but I knew that I was going to always leave uh, Michigan I was like fuck Michigan period and I said this shit when I was like fucking what 13 years old it was just too much violence you know I mean if I saw a fight here and there okay nope growing up in the hood shootouts shootings, fights, beatings, uh, a wee house on every corner. Um, and, and Okay, that was on the outside of the house. So in the inside, um, like I said, my brothers was fucking up. Only one that was kind of doing something straight was my third oldest. And uh, he ended up fucking that up, listening to my stupid ass father. And I was like, man, I'm not only getting the fuck away from them, I'm moving the fuck out of Michigan as soon as I become a legal adult and figure out how to get some money and get the fuck out. Now, of course, you know, like I said, a whole bunch of bullshit. You know, then I started fucking pretty ass women, which I never regretted that part. That that was never a bad thing. It just kind of messed my time up a little bit. But no, you have to get away from ones that are hypnotized by hatred because they will try to kill your ass. You know, that shit is very, very fucking true. And I'm just like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't try to tell nobody to come with me when I decide to leave. See, everything I do is always a one man operation, period. Why? Because I like being in control, period. It's my way or no way. My way, fuck up somebody else's way. Why? Being the youngest and I came from a huge family, you get to see a lot of your older siblings and just older family members, your parents do a lot of fucking up and you can't do shit about it. And I didn't like that shit. So I was like, all right, well, when I get grown, I already knew when I was six years old, I had to get the fuck away from my family. Now, when I knew I had to leave Michigan, I was about 13. You know, but the hardest part was waiting. That was the hardest part, really. And now that I'm away for it, from it, and then to see that Bootsy said the same thing, which is very, very, very true. You know, and that's the thing. I said it in one of my videos about fake ass family members. I said that when t time goes by even longer, uh, they get more and more envious of you, especially the one that told them to go fuck themselves. And I told my family that many times. I told my father that before he died. Yep. And it, it, yeah, they're like, you know, you take that motherfucker out. And I'm like, well, whatever. You know, I don't have to be around you motherfuckers. You know, because it's nothing worse than seeing an example of how a family's supposed to be, but your family is the complete opposite. And that's how mine was. 